One of the most important things about how we've been able to survive as a species under the cruelty of nature is that we have found a sense of ownership, control, and manipulation. If we didn't have the kind of culture that says that we have these kinds of rights, we simply wouldn't have most of the things we enjoy today. We'd be living in huts or some other similar type of constructs. We certainly wouldn't have things like roads and cars and the internet and an almost countless number of things that we enjoy today. Entertainment? <laughs> Now, I suppose there's an argument of whether or not we should have the right to enjoy those things. You know, whether we should enjoy those types of conveniences and everything that comes with it. Personally, I think it's natural for us to want to strive to have those types of conveniences. We have the brains and the limbs to be able to do those things. Why should we limit ourselves unless it reduces our ability to survive as a species? I mean, if we're ruining our environment, we're reducing our ability to survive as a species. You know, I mean, if we fuck up our environment, we're not going to survive. So, yeah, we need to be smart about the whole thing. And so the question comes into place... Do we want to push the notion that carrying on your genes is the most important thing? Or do we want to push the notion that how we as individuals affect society is the most important thing? Now, I suppose there are more answers than that. But those are the main things that someone has to choose from. And these concepts clash in incredible ways. Are we going to head more towards nature or are we going to head more towards transhumanism? Artificial intelligence is going to play a big role on how we answer those questions. It's going to be interesting to watch.